Bob Wells gives us six reasons that he thinks you should be a nomad. Boy, is he full of it. The Bobinites are going to hate me for this one. What's up, blind viewers? How's everybody doing today? All right, that's right. I just watched one of the Bob's latest videos. Now, I get it. I know there's some folks out there that love the Bob and they like the Bob and they think the Bob is great and he's helped a lot of people, blah, 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 blah. But I don't know. Just no. Let me tell you. Just let me go through this video with you just a little bit and let me explain myself. Now, Bob has these six little things, just quick ones, but uh, yeah, it's uh, in no particular order, Bob says. How I to be a nomad. First, economics. Second, the ever popular freedom. Three, a better life. Four, rejection of society. Five, healing. And sixth is building connections. So let's start with, well, the first, the first two, Bob kind of mashes them together. Economics and freedom, he kind of makes that one, one big thing because he talks about uh, actually work and, and being a homeowner or, or a renter or something like that. He talks about that. So economics and then freedom is you breaking free from the first. So he kind of meshes them together in one big lump. So uh, if you have to pay that $800 or $1,000 a month, you have a landlord. And that landlord is the master of your life. So this man who owns that home owns you. You are his slave. You must satisfy him at all times or your life gets horrible fast. So what do you have to do? You've got to have the money. How do you get the money? You get a job. So now you've added a second man who owns your life. So there, you heard it. it it's, it's, you're the slave to the man. One, you got somebody, whether it be the mortgage man or your landlord, you have to pay him money. So you're a slave to him. So how do you get money? You got to go to work. So now you're a slave to this guy. So what do you got to do? You actually have to get up drag your tired ass out of bed and go do something for eight hours a day and yeah you might have to sit in traffic to and from and then you get a paycheck and you come home oh but you have no time for yourself all you have to do is is to come home and and clean and do laundry and wash your nasty ass and eat and make dinner and all that and then go back and do it all over again that's horrible so don't do that Quit your job, move out of your apartment, sell your house, get rid of everything, move into your Prius or your minivan or your little van and go to the desert and find the Bob. That's what he's saying. Go do that. Now, so this whole economics thing and freedom. Okay there, Bobbo. Riddle me this, Batman. So. I ain't going to say, uh, hey, honey, grab the kids and the dog, put everybody in the minivan, we're out of here. I just quit my job, and the realtor will be here tomorrow. We're selling this house, and we're moving to the desert in Arizona. I know it's going to be a little tight living in the van, but hey, the Bob says it's cool because we're going to have financial freedom, and we're going to have a better life because the pop said so so come on honey grab them kids the dog let's get on out of here all right so if your wife beats you about the head and shoulders and you're screaming kids are going no dad i don't want to do this dumb shit you're a moron the dog even hates you but you're in the minivan you're crammed in there i can tell you right now life is already better no more tv no more bills all you gotta do is put gas in the fucking soccer mom grocery getter and away you go off to the deserts of Arizona. Whew. Life sounded better already to me. Now is when this financial freedom kicks in. That's right. Economic freedom. It's awesome. 
because now I'm in the desert and I don't have a job because I quit my job getting a little hungry don't know how I'm gonna get food I don't have any fucking money oh man Bob didn't tell me about that part hmm wonder what I'm gonna do well I can't be a slave to that man going back and forth to work so I can't do that I wonder how I'm gonna get money hey Bobo how am I gonna get money well Pay me and you can learn and take my little seminars and I'll teach you all about it. Oh, cool, Bob. So I don't want to be a slave to the man, but I can be a slave to you instead. Awesome. Now I get where you're coming from. All right, there, nomads set in the desert doing nothing because who wants to go to work? Riddle me this. Okay, you want your little Wi-Fi so you can make your YouTube videos. Does that just materialize? Is there a little station where you walk down and push some buttons? No, there's people that go to work every day and provide you with things. There's people that grow your food. There's people that butcher your food. There's people that deliver your food. There's people that stock your food on a shelf. There's people that buy, own, and run laundromats so you can wash your clothes. There's people all over this country that take care of the roads that you drive on everywhere in your free awesome life so if everybody quits their job how are you going to get your gas how are you going to get from point a to b how are you going to get your food hmm i wonder what happens when everybody just quits and sits in the damn desert and picks sand out of their ass i guess everyone starves and dies in a big old pile and you can just cover them all up with sand in the desert you don't make no damn sense yeah who would want to go to work every day and then come home and do laundry and cook and clean when you can just sit in the desert and be filthy and stinky and nasty in that nice bacon hot sun of the, <laughs> of the desert? Yeah, who wants to take showers and do laundry? That's for suckers. Come out here and <laughs> live the free, cheap, and easy life. Oh my God. Come on, Bob. Get over yourself. We can go back to our childhood sense of play and curiosity. Life can become about playing. Maybe not as much as you want. You can't, you can't fly to the Himalayas and, and climb Mount Everest. That's probably not in any of our futures. But you can drive up to the Grand Canyon. Now the next thing Bob touts is a better life. It's a better life. That's right. And he even used those words. You heard him. A childlike life. You become children again because you can go do whatever you want. You can go see, you can go run around and play. You don't have any responsibilities or obligations. It's awesome, it's childlike. Well, remember when you were a kid? Remember how you got to do all that stuff and go run around and play? Because there was a responsible adult that did those stupid things like went to work and got money and paid for all the shit that your little childlike ass got to do. You didn't buy your little roller skates and your, your school clothes and your bicycle, did you? No. There was one of those morons that went back and forth to work that kept your ass fed and alive, you stupid ass. Child, like, come out here and play and do what you want. What the hell kind of sense does that make? Are you kidding me? Do people really believe this bullshit? All right, the next thing we have is the rejection of society. Well, I got news for you. Society is everywhere yeah even out there in the desert where all you nomads are circling the wagons and sitting around yeah little society slab city isn't that a little society of uh homeless bums yeah it, it there's still society you're not getting away from society that's just a moronic thought and statement right there so consumerism uh i find consumerism you know the forces to pushes us and compels us to fall into buying more, buying the newest. There's another guy over here, he's in, he's in advertising, and he is an expert at making you wanting things and making you feel like uh, you have to have the newest and best thing or you're a failure. And then he goes on about this, the salesmen, the people, they sell you this and they do this and they draw you in and they want you to do this and you have to do it and you say, yeah, blah, 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 uh, that doesn't faze me, but you want to keep up with the Joneses and you want to have the latest and greatest. And then what does he do? Then what does he do? 
his very next video <laughs> he's peddling shit look at this buy this oh so don't listen to those salesmen listen to the bobo the bobinator listen to the grand poobah don't let anybody else say your shit but i'll say your shit oh yeah and at the end of the video yeah he has this little spiel where he's selling you shit that's right keep up with the joneses get the latest and greatest buy the bobo stuff you are brand new to the road or would just like to see everything in one place bob is offering classes on skillshare and udemy.com it's a comprehensive nomad course that has five and a half hours of content i mean come on we know bob has the how and who else knows what else he's got going on so he's telling you to get away from society and don't listen to this and don't listen to that and don't buy this and don't buy that He's got so much shit going on. He's got money flying in. He's a slave to money just like anybody else. But he wants you to come join his cult so he can even make more money from your dumb ass. But he's, oh, but you guys are so blind. I don't know. Maybe it's that Santa Claus beard that makes you just fucking chuckle and hang your, your damn stockings on your door handle so the bobinator can come give you presents in the middle of the night. God, you people are dumb. He's got so much shit going on. He's got so many ways that, and he's peddling his garbage, but telling you, oh no, don't listen to the man. Don't be a slave to the man. <laughs> Get away from all that societal stuff where they're making you buy things. <laughs> Just listen to me and only buy the shit that I tell you to buy. What a cult leader this dude is. And then he touts this, oh, you're stuck to, Eat, sleep, work, eat, sleep, work, eat, sleep, work. That's no life. Yeah, well, eat, sleep, work gets you money so when you do have vacation or when you do retire, you have money and you can go do things. No, eat, sleep, work. That's not a life. So uh, come out here, park your shit in the middle of the desert and sit and stare across to someone else doing nothing in the middle of the desert. That sounds like an awesome life to me. Just sitting around waiting to die baking in the sun you're a moron yeah why why go to work and be a contributor to society and actually do things so these lazy asses can sit in the desert you know you can go deliver their food or maybe when they're sick you can go and uh, drive the ambulance that takes their nasty stinking non-bathing ass to the hospital to somebody else's doing their job to fix them up while they sit around and do absolutely nothing with their life and then when they get to be 65, 70 years old, they don't have two nickels to rub together, but they got the bob. And I'm sure he'll be right there for you. Yeah, I'm really sure he is. At least when you're eat, sleep, working, when it comes time, when you pay your dues and you're done, you're done. And then you can go do whatever with money, not with a hope and a prayer and the words of wisdom from the bob. The next thing we got is for healing, you know, if you lost a loved one or if you did in other words you're running away don't stay and deal with your problems don't deal with anything run away come find the bob in the desert and you can sit around in a circle and leave all those dead people and all your problems and your divorces and your failed relationships and your money woes and every failed thing you did just run away from it because it can't follow you to the desert well guess what it will no matter how far you run there you are and all your shit is right there with you it didn't go anywhere it's not left in the storage shed with your couch no it's right here in your pocket with you so run into the desert for healing yeah that's a bunch of horse shit too now the last one is to build connections okay i get it you kind of half get that one build connections connections with who See, first of all, oh, this community is great. It takes care of each other. How can you take care of each other when you can't even take care of yourself? Are you going to find like-minded people? Sure, you're going to find other people that want to be out there in the desert or want to be traveling around and want to be doing this and want to meet the Bob and kiss his ring and bow at his feet. Sure, you can find connections like that. And sure, you can find somebody who knows when the van belt is and you can go stand in line and demand that your bed get built and your fan get put in and all this shit for free and so build connections go ahead have fun build connections just make sure you bring your little shovel in your bucket because you're gonna be sitting in the sand playing with scorpions 
All right, so that's what I think about that. So let me wrap this up real nice and neat for you and see if I can't tell you exactly the deal. Now, I live within my means. That's why I live where I do. I live in a house. That's right, I live in a house. And I hear people out there saying, oh yeah, it's only $1,200 a month to stay in this RV park. Well, it doesn't cost me $1,200 a month to stay here. Not $1,200 a month plus electricity or $1,700 a month. No, it doesn't, it doesn't cost me that much. That's why I live here, because I live within my means. I don't have to run and live in the desert. I don't have to sell everything and grab my wife and move into a car and eat off of a hot plate and sleep with the reclining seats. Now, I'm not going to do that because I have a whole damn house. I live within my means. I pay my bills and I still actually have some left over. And then I make these stupid little YouTube videos and hope somebody or enough people watch so I get a couple extra bucks. Ta-da! I didn't have to run away to the desert. And I can do things. I can. I do. I can. I can go outside. I can go travel. We can jump in our car and go somewhere. And we can go visit. And when we're done, we can come back home. I can go do things. I can go to concerts. I can go to movies. I can go to parties. I can go do whatever I want to. I can do things. I don't have to go find the Bob for him to tell me how to do things or what I can do. And I don't have to live a childlike existence to go do things. And as far as connections go, I have connections. My life is pretty decent. I have a wife. I have kids. I have grandchildren. I have friends. I have old business associates and acquaintances. You know this guy, he knows that guy, and you have your little circle, you run into a problem, you go, hey, I know this guy who knows that guy, he can help me out. So I have my connections, and I didn't have to run to the desert or the Bob to find them. I'm fine. And like I said, society is everywhere. You're not going to get away from society unless you shoot your ass to a different planet where there's nobody at. As long as there's people, there's society. And you have to be a part of society. You have to, if you're making money, and I know Bob makes plenty, so he's paying taxes, whether he's going to tell you or not, so he's part of society. He's got his little 501c3PO or whatever the fuck it's called. He's got that going on, so he's in a part of society. He's a part of the government. He's part of, he's in that, not a part of the government, but he has to deal with government entities and everything. So he's all entrenched in society. He probably owns all kinds of shit as far as businesses and everything else, but no, you you shouldn't. You shouldn't do none of that. You need to rely on the Bob. Don't do what Bob does, do what Bob says. And I can stand up and I can walk around all through my house. I don't have to climb around on my hands and knees. I can flush the toilet. I can take a long, long, long hot shower every day, two, three times a day if I want. And I can go down and I can lay in bed and I, when I get up, I can get up. I can stand up and I can walk around. I can open my closet, open my drawers and get clothes. No matter what the temperature is, I have all kinds of clothes. I have storage for my clothes. And if I have little gizmos or gadgets, I got a place to put it. And, and, that's right. For all those nomads who, we're always prepared. If the shit hits the fan, we're going to be ready. No, you're not, because if the shit hits the fan and there's no more food for in the grocery store for a while and them shelves are empty, guess what? You got food for a couple days, maybe a week. Guess what I got? A lot more. Yeah, I have freezers and refrigerator and shelves for canned goods and a basement and all kinds of stuff. I can stockpile food and all kinds of stuff. Can you? I'm just fine I'm not living in the desert with the Bob, because I'm sure jolly old saint nick i'm sure he ain't hurting for food and he won't be hurt for food but yeah so we got room for shit so when those store shelves are bare yeah you're gonna last two three days i'm gonna last well i won't tell you because i got plenty so i just had to to say something because i watched that and i was like are you kidding me are you kidding me all the hypocritical bullshit that he speaks all the stuff that he spews 
and has everybody run into the desert with this false sense of rainbows and sunshine and all you gotta do is come to the desert and find the bob and travel around bouncing from here to there and all your troubles will go away no more money problems even though he tells you to quit your job no more money problems i guess fucking money just falls out of the sky when you're in the desert apparently because no more money problems economics you're free and childlike to go play you can go do whatever you want whenever you want and again if everybody does this how are you going to get anything people have to work to give you all the shit that you need even the little gas that goes into your yeah somebody's getting that refining it somebody's delivering it to the gas station somebody's standing in there and turning on the pump and somebody's at the other end when you swipe your little credit card or whatever you do or give them cash there's people all there working so if everybody runs to the bob and quits being a slave to the man there's going to be a whole lot of empty houses and a whole lot of nothing going on and a whole shitload of people in the blm land kissing on the bob's ring and bowing at his feet but then when the money dries up and there's no more nothing, it's just you and the Bob laying in the sand in the desert. <sighs> well, Suzanne will be there too. <laughs> what a bunch of horseshit. This is Blind Views and yeah, that's right. That's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Loud.